Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma ba'd ayyil ahabati fillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem Ata'muruna al-nasa bil-bir wa tansawna anfusukum wa antum tat wa antum tatluna al-kitab afala ta'kinun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Do you command the people to enjoin good or righteousness and piety? And forget yourselves. Do you, are you a person of intellect? Are you a person who think? Do you think? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets us know the importance of avoiding hypocrisy. And that we should strive our earnest and strive earnestly and, and our best to be of those who practice what we preach, to practice the knowledge that we've gained. Whatever knowledge we have of Islam, that we want to practice it. And we want to practice it in accordance with Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the understanding of the Salaf as Ummah. That we want to avoid bid'ah, that we want to avoid kufr, that we want to avoid sinfulness. Ata'muruna nasa bil bir. Do you advise the people with bir? Do you command them with righteousness? With tansona and fusukum? And forget yourselves? Afala ta'akinun? Are you a person of intellect? So letting us know that this is nux in a person's intellectual capacity. This is from foolishness. But however, as children of Adam, alayhi salatu wasalam, we don't always act by our intellect, of course. We're not just purely intellectual beings. Unfortunately, our desires play a big part of who we are as well. So the Muslim is striving to control his or her desires and make sure that it's in accordance with Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is where if you are in a, uh, a situation and you're calling the people to good, do your best to be practicing it yourself. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and forgive us of our many, many shortcomings. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم